Welcome back to our initiate guide for Warframe. We're going to continue the new strange quest today, and we'll also try to get to the Saturn Junction. So first off, it's uh, we go back to the derelict on Mars from the previous Stolen Dreams quest. Uh, this mission is actually pretty easy, all things considered. You can just run past all the grenade and whatnot. Uh, mine's a device, teleport device thingy. Uh, just kind of keep running through the crowds, <laughs> and then, uh, you can gather a loot if you'd like to. You know, having the energy orbs could actually help a lot here. And, because, yeah, you can just use the, uh, Volt's Force ability and just wipe everyone out, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, the main target of the mission here is to get the synthesis scanner and just scan Chroma because yeah he's invulnerable and so that's the only way that you can really deal with him um, so he'll teleport away after you scan him a couple times and so you just head back out of the uh, derelict here back into Mars and then uh, head to extraction <laughs> easy <laughs> easy mission it's kinda kinda funny uh, how easy this mission actually is the uh, the next mission won't be as easy though. <laughs> just uh, just putting it out there. Um, so yeah, if you have to go to the foundry, uh, build that chroma mark. Wait a minute, come back to the foundry. We're gonna do another mission. You know, do some other mission, then go and get this, and then uh, then it gives you the location of the final mission for the quest, and it's a defense mission. As we go to Europa and go back into an Oregon derelict and defend a uh, uh, Oregon device or whatever you want to call it uh, for five waves. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, honestly, I'd probably go around and open up the crates just to try to get some more energy if you can. Um,. You know, just try to do everything that you can to wipe out all the uh, enemies in, in order. That's the first wave. A little dialogue along the way too. You can listen to it if you if you're interested in the story at all. Uh, I was just waiting for the uh, for the machine to kind of heal itself back up. You know, let the shields and the health kind of go back up. Sometimes it does help to you know, take a little bit of time when most of the crowd is gone. So we've got three waves left here. I don't know how I missed that shot. Just one. You know, I, I don't exactly have the timing of the Paris Mark One. It's, uh, I guess it's supposed to have a faster projectile, but I don't see it. Well, yeah don't have the uh, the arrow drop like you do on a lot of the other bows as I think I've mentioned before <laughs> that's for certain all right and then the last wave is where chroma spawns in and you have to get your well I would probably keep you know wiping out these corpus enemies until most of them are wiped out anyway and then pull out the synthesis scanner and then scan chroma five times. Yeah, man, these nullifiers. I cannot stand them. I mean, it's, you know, it's a way to kind of counter the Warframe abilities, but yeah, anyway. So yeah, pull out the scanner and just scan them five times. One, two, three, four, and five. And there you have it, and there's finished off any uh, remaining corpus, and then the, the mission and the quest is done. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to be a little challenging, especially if you don't have, like, if you're playing with Excalibur and you don't have a lot of energy to use the uh, some of his abilities, but anyway. So, uh, next up, we're going to try to get to the Saturn Junction, and uh, then Roy gets to show the node, but yeah, it's one of the last nodes on Europa. It's Bale. It's an exterminate mission, so you just wipe out all the enemies there, and then uh, head to extraction. 
and uh, then that's it. <laughs> that's uh, the, the next thing we're going to do is go to Themisto on Jupiter, and that's the assassination mission against Allied V. And uh, I just kind of show you how that, how this works. Um, so he has a Zanuka robot. Yeah, you'll want to focus your fire on Allied V and get at least the shields down. Um, once the shields are down, you can actually start uh, focusing on Zanuka because, well, when you take out Alavi's health, Zanuka here will head beeline right towards V and revive him. So it's kind of like he's a second partner in a, a mission. So you, uh, you'll have, you know, you kind of consider like, yeah, you kind of want to play this mission with at least two people so you can keep reviving each other. That's kind of the idea for, for Alad anyway. So yeah, the idea is that you have to kill Zanuka before you can kill Alad V fully. You can, or you can down Alad V and then kill Zanuka before he gets to Alad V. So yeah, if you, if you're killing Alad V while Zanuka's right there, it's going to take a little bit longer to do this mission. And it definitely doesn't help to have starter weapons <laughs> like I'm doing right now <laughs> for this mission. Anyway, yeah, we got both of them killed, so we head to extraction, and then we get the uh, the neuroptics for this. So that's a pretty common part. Uh, the second run of the Mesto, <laughs> I just joined a squad, and we're basically right at the extraction, and we got the chassis. So pretty common parts as well. Uh, now the third run of the Mestel, we end up getting the chassis. Yeah. The fourth run here. Uh, let's see what we get. Neuroptics. Fifth run. Someone got Allied V. Uh, someone was spawning in, so my CPU has a really hard time. <laughs> well, it's a PS4, so there you go. Uh, fifth run, get the chassis again. Here's the sixth run. I join a squad, and we're pretty much at extraction, <laughs> which is nice. I won't complain about that. Neuroptics, though. Oh, well. On to the seventh run. Yeah, I got the Zanuka killed first. And just waiting for Allied V to become vulnerable. And there we go. Go to extraction. The chassis. Uh, eighth run. He's down. So, yeah, I got the Zanuka first again. There. The chassis. Nine. The chassis. Alright, tenth run. The Neurotics. 11th run. Uh, the Neurotics. <laughs> 12th run. Yeah, let's just say that sometimes you don't want to be doing like a drinking game for every single run, because yeah, you'd run out or something. This is probably the unluckiest that I've been getting the, the systems out of any of these uh, starting Warframes. But yeah, so it was a 13 runs there before we can finally, well, before, I mean, you can get to the junction on the very first one, but hell, you might as well get these parts for these Warframes. You'll need them later on, that's for sure, if you want to get your mastery rank up. We'll talk about that uh, in an upcoming video, that's for certain. Anyway, yeah, uh, so yeah, the Saturn Junction here is where you fight level 25 Ember. Uh, I'd say that she'll use her first ability. Uh, I don't know if she uses her second at all. She certainly doesn't use her third or fourth abilities, because that could be really a real pain. Um, 
I could probably use my shield here, but whatever. There we go. And that's that's Ember for you. <laughs> uh, I'd say that that was pretty toned down. Uh, I mean, I'm getting. I think that you're kind of getting to the limit of using the starting weapons. Uh, next up, we'll try to get to Uranus in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you hope to see you guys there.